we have already seen how we can divide decimal numbers when the dividend is a decimal number. Now in this case, I need to divide 9 by 1.5. So over here, the divisor is a decimal number. So the divisor is 1.5, which is a decimal number. Now 9 divided by 1.5 can be written as 9 divided by 1.5. Now when the divisor is a decimal number, the first thing that we need to do is, is to remove this decimal point and bring it to the right. How can I do that? So what I need to do is, I need to bring this decimal point to the right. That is, I need to remove the decimal point of the divisor. Now when does decimal point shift to the right? When I multiply by a power of 10. And over here, I want the decimal point to shift to the right by one place, which means that I need to multiply it by 10. And when I multiply the denominator by a number, I also need to multiply the numerator by the same number. So this becomes 9 into 10 divided by 1.5 into 10. Why 10? 10. Because I want to shift the decimal point to the right by one place. And I can only do it if I multiply it by 10. So now this becomes 90 divided by 15. And this is now a normal division. 90 divided by 15. 90 divided by 15 gives us 6. So the answer is 6. 9 divided by 1.5 is 6. So this is the quotient of 9 divided by 1.5. So if there is a decimal point in the divisor, then I need to remove the decimal point by multiplying it with the correct power of 10. And if there is a decimal point in the dividend, then we put the decimal point at the correct place in the quotient. Now what about this? I have 3.6 divided by 0 0.9. Now this has decimal point in dividend and this has a decimal point in divisor as well. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to remove the decimal point in the divisor. So I can write this as 3.6 divided by 0 0.9. Now the decimal point in the divisor has to be removed. It has to be shifted to the right by one place and we can do that by multiplying it by 10 and if I multiply the denominator by 10 I need to multiply the numerator also by 10. So this is what it is, 3.6 into 10, 0 0.9 into 10. Now 3.6 into 10 is 36 because if I am multiplying by 10, the decimal point will shift to the right by one place. 0 0.9 into 10 is 0 0.9 or only 9. Now what is 36 divided by 9? 36 divided by 9 is 4. So 3.6 divided by 0 0.9 is 4. This is the answer. 3.6 divided by 0 0.9 gives us 4. So if there is a decimal point in the divisor, I need to remove the decimal point by multiplying it with the correct power of 10. So now can you solve this on your own? What is 10.5 divided by 0 0.15? So let us see. We have 10.5 divided by 0 0.15. Now the divisor has a decimal point. So I need to remove that. In order to remove that, I need to move 1, 2, 2 places to the right. Which means I need to multiply it by 1 and then and then two zeros, that is 100. And if I am multiplying the denominator by 100, 
I need to multiply the numerator as well by hundred. So I have ten point five in two hundred. Now this decimal point will shift to the right by two places. So I'll have one zero five zero divided by fifteen because the decimal point will shift to the right by two places. Now what is one zero five zero divided by fifteen? So fifteen goes into one zero five seven times, and there is a zero here, so it is seventy. So the quotient or the answer is seventy. So ten point five divided by zero point one five gives us seventy. Now can you solve this on your own? What is one point six nine divided by one point three? So I have one point six nine divided by one point three. Now the divisor has a decimal point. This decimal point has to be removed. So I need to move to the right by one place. So I multiply by ten. I multiply both the numerator and denominator. Now one point six nine into ten. So this decimal point will move to the right by one place. So this will become sixteen point nine divided by thirteen. Now what do I do? The decimal point is still here, but now it is there only in the dividend. And not in the divisor, so we can now divide it normally. So I ignore the decimal point, and ignoring the decimal point, if I divide one hundred sixty-nine by thirteen, I get thirteen. So one hundred sixty-nine divided by thirteen is thirteen, and now I need to put the decimal point at the correct place. How do I do that? So when there is a decimal point in the dividend, that is the number being divided, I need to see where does the decimal point come from right. That is, I have to move one place to the left, starting from right, to get the decimal point, and I'll do the same thing for the quotient. So starting from right, I move one place to the left, and I put the decimal point here, so the quotient is one point three. So the quotient is one point three. So one point six nine divided by one point three is one point three. So when there is a decimal point in the divisor, I need to multiply it with the right power of ten and get rid of it first. And if there is a decimal point in the dividend, I can divide, but I need to put the decimal point accordingly in the quotient as well. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSC, ICSC, IB, Cambridge, or any other curriculum. Over five thousand amazing lectures on maths, science, English, and social science. A unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged, and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and one million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis, along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts, and that's not all. You can also win exciting prizes like PlayStations, iPads, watches, and many more, along with certificates through our Earn as You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy; it is rewarding too. So register for free now.